Good morning, Mount Olive. I'm Pastor Bender, and I'm blessed again. Yes, you've made the right connection with the Mount Olive family. We are a progressive people with positive perspectives. We're so glad to be here with you today. Our scripture today comes from Matthew 7, 7, and 8. After we read our scripture, we'll do our serenity prayer. Our scripture will be read by Sister Laura Bender. Sister Bender. Matthew 7, 7 and 8. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Thank you, Sister Bender. We're ready now for our subject for today is the Serenity Prayer, which will be read by Sister Zora Bender. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Serenity means state of being calm. In this prayer, he is asking for one, strength. He's asking for two, courage. And three, he's asking for wisdom. That's strength, courage, wisdom. Which brings us to Psalms 29-11. That's something special to say to us today. The Lord will give you strength unto his people. Prayer is our means of communication. Prayer is our means of communication with God. Yes. Which brings us to point one. Things I pray for acceptance. Things I can't change. Things I can't change. Pray for uh, acceptance. To accept things I can't change. Some things uh, you can't change. Some things you can't change. You can't change death. You can't change weather. You can't change age. So, so many times we try to, we like to change our age. You can't change the past. Which brings us to point two. Things I can change. Things I can change. Yes, ask for our courage to do it. I can change. Yes. Your behavior. How you spend your time, your responses to others, and you can change the friend you keep, and you can change how you apply your talents. 
your final point of the message today is help me to know the difference. Do you want to know the difference? Ask God for it. So pray for wisdom. That's good judgment. Wisdom is sharing. James 1 5 tells us that what we ought to do from the Word of God. James 1 and 5 tells us if you like wisdom, ask God for it. As a matter of fact, children, uh, whatever you need, uh, ask God for it. If you need wisdom, ask God to, to give it to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, Philippians uh, he says to it, I can, you can, we can, they can. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. If you need strength, call on the Lord. Turn yourself around and give God the praise. Ain't God all right? Because you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. During the change, you need help from others. And you need help for others along the way. Ask God. For strength. Are you praying with me, Mount Olive? Ask God for strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask God for strength and for courage in times like these. Where's your courage? Ask God for it. If you need wisdom, Ask God for it, and you can handle them. Whatever comes your way, God is. Yes, sir, waiting on your call. He's all right. I praise his name, and I thank him every day for the blessing he's going to give. He's all right. How many of y'all know that he's all right today? If you know he is, raise both hands high to the Lord and tell the Lord thank you. Yeah! Tell the Lord thank you for the blessing he's going to give. He will. Do everything. The door is open. The door is open. Thank you, Lord, for all of your blessings. And the serenity prayer bring joy to our heart and our soul. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord.